Star Citizen versus Destiny. Which one is better and where do you stand on it? Right here, right now. Destiny. We're going to start there because it's the recent one that came out. Um, Star Citizen is giving out their modules, um, you know, hangar module and all that. And we're going to see, we're going to go through it all and, um, you know, sort through what the games say they're going to bring, what they have actually brung so far, and what their future looks like. And we're also going to we're gonna also get very deep down into their mechanics and what they are planning to produce. So, we're going to start with Destiny. Now, Destiny, when, you know, it was first said, you know, we're building a new game, a new IP called Destiny. They gave us the info, and they, to and they told us to run w wild with it. And it spread like bonfire, you know, on every Twitter page, Facebook page, anything you could think of. It was their Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. However, there's been a game slash simulator that has been in the background that's working with, working its way up and getting more popular. Now, it's not even out yet, but there's a LEGO model that is being released for it by the official LEGO store. Destiny doesn't have that. And, you know, you might say, well, because Star Citizen is a child's game. No. Star Citizen actually cost real money, $350 for the most expensive ship. There's actually one on their website for $1,500 for a pack. Now, who has that Who has that money, you may ask, to spend on a game? Well, this kind of is your second life. You don't really know. Now, if you are like me when you are a child, which I technically still am a child, but if you were like me, or if you are like me, then, you know, you want to be in the future with the spaceships and, you know, other planets that you're going to go visit and all that. You want to be there. Um, however, you can't do that. The technology doesn't, doesn't exist for that, but in reality, we're getting there. You know, we're, we are, clo we're, we're close to doing that. Um, in like three, four years, we're going to Mars or sending a manned mission to Mars, which, you know, is going to be amazing because I've always wanted to visit Mars. But this is kind of your second life, your chance to step, step into a futuristic world and embrace it all as realistically as you can. And I think that's amazing that they're doing that. Um, it's really awesome to see how it turns out. Now, Destiny. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. That thing is small. Okay, I played it. Took. Did not. Did not. Um, um, and just no. It said it was gonna be big and open, but it wasn't at all. It's very small. It's very limited to the place you can go. Um, it says it was gonna be huge and open. Well, when I saw the trailer, the old Russia trailer, um, I saw mountains in the back background. That's the first thing you saw is mountains. Well, I thought that okay, I'm gonna get on one of their pikes with or sparrows, whichever one they were calling it at the time, and go there. Well, <laughs> no. I was excited to go there. It was really, really cool idea to go all in the mountains and discover something yourself but you're not discovering anything it's pre-generated now yes star citizen is the same thing they pre-generate their worlds but you get the chance to explore it first and mark your own destiny on that spot however in destiny you have to go to that position so you're not discovering it an ai is telling you to go where you are where you need to go however in star citizen every place that they make you can choose to visit or not to visit. There is absolutely no. Uh, there is campaign. The campaign is optional. You do not have to do it. You can dive right into the MMO aspect of it. The M MMO aspect is very cool. They have a procedural, procedural generating world. Okay, that means they're going to constantly be making more and more solar system and planets and all that. And companies that are going to be making this stuff and technology and more ships that you're going to be able to buy. Now, yes, it does cost money to play Star Citizen. Um, 40 bucks, but it costs money for most good games. Um, there are some free-to-play games that are very good, um, such as Team Fortress 2, Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a very big game, but it's still free-to-play. Um, now, Star Citizen is not a play-to-win. I mean, Star Citizen is not a pay-to-win, okay? You have to play to win. Now, Star Citizen takes skill to win, not just big guns. If you have big guns, that's great. You're going to have an edge in weaponized, but if you do not know what you're doing, you... The, you're just wasting your money. 
Um, that's why, if anything, you need to start with the Aurora that they have on their website. To the beginnership, 40 bucks. I'm pretty sure it's 40 bucks, anyways. 40 bucks. You buy that, you get a ship, you get Star Citizen, and you go. Um, it's actually $45. Sorry, it's $45. They have game packages and everything. You buy them, then you know that's it. There's other hangers that you can buy, real life merchandise, and subscriptions if you want to do that. If you are really into the game now. There's another Centaurian and Imperator or whatever. I mean, no, there's ten twenty dollars. That's fine. You get to. They want you to support the game now. Destiny had Treyarch behind them, pushing them to get the game out the door and all that nonsense. Now, Bungie was made huge on Xbox, yet they ha they have not gave Xbox anything special. PlayStation is getting anything special. Now, if I was born, not born, but, you know, made popular on Xbox, no matter what, if I had to push the game back another two years so I can give the Xbox what the game they deserve and not, and you know, not leave them out, I would do that. But, no, they hooked up the Treyarch. Their, you know, their thing, agreement was that PlayStation would get the extra stuff and all that, and they did, which is good for PlayStation. I'm I'm happy that, play, that they are letting play, the PlayStation fans into their their eyes and letting them experience something by Bungie if they never have before and I hope that they are doing good with this um, however it would still be nice if they could get the original Bungie fans you know Halo 1 multiplayer fans to keep going on it the Halo 1 PC multiplayer was going to be shut down but it wasn't because fans re refused to be refused to log out of the thing and they kept the multiplayer multiplayer open for another week which just shows them how pat passionate their fans are for the multiplayer um for Halo 1 on PC now yes you might be asking yourself what Halo's on PC it is look it up it's Halo 1 I don't know if they're gonna make a Halo 2 one or not I don't know but anyways so yes Destiny was a very disappointing game in my eyes um, I still enjoyed it though some of it but for me, it was very disappointing. Now, back to Star Citizen. Yes, it costs money, like I said, but every single thing that you can buy is earn. You can earn in-game. However, it it will take you some time. It will take you some in-game money. Now, I'm saying game and simulator. I'm, why am I saying simulator? Where? Well, you can spend money in real life to get to these things. Now, I again, I said this would be your second life. You have to spend money to keep your guy up to date and just to look nice overall. Yes, you do. If you want your guy to live in the universe um, with, you know, a big big house, I think they're doing player housing, a big house, multiple ships, a whole bunch of friends, um, you know, all that good stuff, beautiful hangers, all that stuff, you're going to want to spend your real lifetime on here and develop all that. Now, there are, they, I mean, they make commercials for their ships, there are realistic ships, there's even a commercial at the end where it says, see your local ship dealer for, um, different colors or something like that and you can if you're in game and you want your ship to be a different color you go to a ship dealer or some kind of painter and they paint it for you you know anything like that um so yeah it's really insane what they're doing um i mean i am stoked for this now why i lost my interest in star citizen well simple well, not sources in Destiny. Well, I lost my interest in Destiny because I was thinking that okay, I was gonna have a big, I was gonna be able to buy a big ship. You know, I'm gonna get my friends in it. We're gonna go explore Venus. You know, climb up top top of some buildings, explore. You know, discover treasure. That's not it at all. Your route is planned out through AI, and it doesn't really hold your hand, but it basically, you know, gives you a map, tells you where to go, and you go there. Now. There is some exploration in Destiny, however, it is very limited, like I said before. And what I, what I mean by that is, after I did the campaign, you know, all I had left was Strikes, Raids, and the Crucible. And those were fun, but I lost interest very fast. Now, I know the goal, a lot of my friends' goals, is to get Legendary Armor. But I've tried that in Borderlands to get the Legendary stuff, and I was bored to death trying to do it. I mean, there is absolutely no, I didn't find any reason to do it whatsoever um you know i just got i just got i just got bored of it so you know i stopped doing it which i guess is fine but you know whatever so anyways going away from that um i got more into the i got more into the crucible and i started getting better at it and better at it and you know that that was fine i liked i liked doing that 
but it never really it never really uh, told me where never told me what to do in destiny which kind of made me kind of made me mad except for the mission told you the mission where to go and after that you're done you completed the campaign all you have left is the raid strikes and stuff and you're thrown out there which is fine but again whichever place you what, uh, whatever whichever place you're going to visit you already visited except for some of the raids and strikes um so yeah that's kind that was kind of sad um i recently got destiny just like a few days ago again with my xbox one and i played maybe like two or three matches of the crucible and i was bored again already um you know i just found no interest in it but going back to star citizen since it's opened world MMORPG and there is no actual release date from it because it is a game that's never going to be finished. Yes, there is the hangar module and the dogfighting module. And yes, those are very, very cool things that they have done. However, there's no ending to it. They're going to be adding solar systems and ships and all that stuff constantly, constantly, constantly constantly you are never going to see the finished product of star citizen there's it's just not possible um now they have a lot of ships on here a lot of a lot of ships and i can't go over all of them i don't i don't i didn't even count them i should count them and put them in the link description but even if i do count them, it would be a waste of time because there's going to be more and more coming out now the ones that have not come out yet that we do not know exactly what they look like is the 890 jump the crack the Herald, the Halsey, and the Orion, um, which we know what they are, um, which I'm not going to go over those right now. But yes, we know what they are, and we know what, what they're going to do. And yes, okay. So, going away from that, back to Destiny, I was really disappointed from how small it was, and I just got bored real quickly, like I said, again. So, yeah, I mean, Star Citizen, you have, you have to play it. You have to go through it. Or you're just not going to go anywhere, and you're going to be in a dead end. However, Destiny, you play the, if you if you can play the campaign, and you can be the campaign. You've been to every single planet and almost every single location, except for a few. I'm set, talking about a few few locations, which are the right, um, which are the raids and strikes, which are the same exact ones. Once you do all the raids and strikes, you're done. Once you've played all the crucible maps, you are done. Now you can continue to continue to level up and try to get to a higher higher level and yes i will i will probably get to the max level someday maybe three years from now um but yes so if you want a game where you get stuck at a dead end after you beat every single thing then get destiny however if you want a game where you have to fend for yourself and all that well you're going to want to get star citizen now star citizen is not out yet um but it is coming out now I did I did say there's no there's not going to be any finished model of Star Citizen and that is true because they are going to be updating it constantly 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 there's never going to be an end about it now if you go to Star Citizen websites Robert Space Industries and then you scroll and then you look over to where it says Star Citizen and you go to project status and you click on that well that's going to bring you up to um where all the things that they're going to be putting on in on now there's hangar arena commander plant side persistent universe squadron 42 and first person shooter yeah, that's what it is now. Hangar module has been done, um, so yes. Uh, now, even under that, it's the vision. If the vision becoming a reality, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, patch notes, development reports, all that stuff. Now, however, even though they have that, it's still not out yet. It won't be out for a, a while. But as I said again, it's not going to be coming out anytime soon because it's never going to be done. Um, which, you know, it's not bad. I'm happy that's never going to be done, but you're still going to be able to play it. Every single piece of information that they get, they give it to you. Because they do not have something, someone behind behind you pushing you to do something. You, you just don't have that. So that's what I really like about Star Citizen. Um, there's so much stuff. There's Hangar, Arena Commander, Plan Cypress, and you, uh, like I already said. And they're going to be putting things in. Now, Arena Commander has the Drone Sim, the Spectrum Games, and the Mur Murray Cup. Now, Hangar only had one. Arena Commander, Arena Commander has three. We don't know how many more they're going to add. They might add something of something, something from Transport, I don't know. They also have Planet Side, Person Universe, Squadron 42, and First Person Shooter. There's so much stuff about this. I mean, the, I mean, the uh, Arena Commander, Drone Sim, and Spectrum, and Murray Cup, First per Person Shooter. Um, walking, running, and maybe free run parkour. I don't know, but yes. Um, for me, 
star system to take the top as the winner of this. Um, it's just better in all aspects of it. Um, which, you know, is kind of sad. But still, it is what's better. It's what lasts longer. It's what's going to help you. Um, it, it's, it's, just, it's just better. So, again, I thank you guys for watching. Um... Before I go, I'm going to say that the reasons why Star Citizen is better than Destiny, well, Destiny, short campaign, not much to do after the campaign, and few and few to limited, few to none places to visit. Um, also, the weapons. There's not that many weapons. Star Citizen is going to have more. Destiny, you can't really do much in except for, you know, maybe fly a ship around or something like that. Star Citizen, you know, you're going to have Persistent Universe. You're going to have ships to fly around in, planet side to fly around in, a longer campaign, more interactive campaign, as they have smaller teams working on each part of it, so not an entire team working on multiple things at once. One team working on one thing, 